you the truth of the matter is, I don't know when I have ever been so nervous to give my testimony as I am right now. I just want to tell you that God has been so good to me. You know, I, when, I, when I look back on my life, I can just see how good the Lord has been and how blessed I am. First of all, he allowed me to be born into a preacher's home. My daddy was a pastor from Lovell, Texas. I can remember well the move that we made from Lovell, Texas down to South Texas. And when Daddy first left the church, he didn't even go on deputation. We just moved to, to, South, to South Texas and he began his ministry in Monterey, Mexico. Such a blessing to grow up in the mission field. Our family was so close. We had so many very special times together. My mother tried to make sure that our birthdays were something very, very special for us. We didn't have big parties or anything, but she always made us a cake, and, and, uh, we all, and my brothers and sisters and I, would, we would always do a special things for each other. And anyway, I, just, I had a, a very happy childhood. My mother making my clothes for me. You know, just so many wonderful things. And, and being able to, to learn Spanish without having to go to language school, that was really neat. <laughs> And one of, the, one of the greatest joys I had growing up was being able to work with my parents in the ministry. And you know that's one of the one of the very big pluses of being a missionary kid is that your parents need your help, and so you are involved in their ministry. And so you don't feel like it's just Daddy's job, but you feel like it's our ministry, and that's something very very special in, in growing up. I thank the Lord for a father that loved God with all of his heart. Amen. Loved his word with all of his heart. How often I remember that when I would have a question about something in scripture, I would ask daddy about it and it's like he would light up. He was delighted that I would ask him a question about the Bible. And he could begin just explaining it to me without even opening his Bible. He knew it so well. And, and that's, that's a wonderful, wonderful treasure that I have in my heart. A father that loved God like that. And then I went to college. And God allowed me to be my person. Let me tell you, I am one blessed lady. I don't know how a man could love his wife more than he does. He has taught me to love God more deeply through the love that he has shown me. And it's a real honor to be his wife. It's a real honor to be able to go with him wherever he goes. It's an honor to be able to take care of him when he's sick. It's an honor to be able to stand the calluses off of his toes and put cream on his feet to help him to have those beautiful feet to carry the gospel. I am so thankful for him. I'm so thankful I'm standing here and I'm not a widow. Amen. You know, this past year I could have been. When he got cholera, when he had a heart attack, God could have chosen to take him home. But he was so merciful to me. I feel like really truly my number one ministry right now is my sweetheart. It's just taking care of him so that he can do God's work. That is the greatest desire of my heart. And I want to say to you, dear people, that I am so grateful for you. You know, John talked about the fellow helpers of the truth. That's really and truly what you are. There are many of you who started supporting my parents and made it possible for them to have a ministry in Mexico. And then you've supported my community and made, made it possible for us to have a ministry in, in Mexico and other places too. And then so many of you are supporting our son, Bill, our daughter, Joy, from New York City, and making it possible for, for us to be able to continue to serve the Lord. I just want to say thank you. 
Thank you for believing in us. Thank you for allowing the Lord to speak to your heart. And, and you know, we're a team. And we really feel your support. We are so grateful for you. Thankful, and we are so thankful for all that you've done. And I'm going to say tonight, too, that I want to thank the Lord for the memory of my brother Lyle. You know, a year ago we knew he was very sick, but we never dreamed that he would be with the Lord now. But his work is finished. He finished his work and he finished it well. There, only the Lord will, will, will be able to tell us when we get to heaven how many people have really been saved through the ministry that Lyle and my, my parents started in Prophet. But I thank the Lord because we, we, we knew, only knew of one for sure that was a born again Christian in all that area and they begin the ministry. There are thousands and thousands today. And we thank the Lord for that. And so people, I just want you to know that we love you, we appreciate you, and we just want to say thank you. And I look forward to the day when we'll all be in heaven. And we'll get to see our precious Lord face to face. And we can say thank you, thank you. For his sacrifice. And for making it possible for us to have the joy of serving him. Amen. God bless you. Amen. something to you tonight. He asked me to read this to you because he wasn't sure he could. I'm not real sure I can, but I'm going to try. This says to Rebecca Ann Patterson. Your love traveled. I can't hardly read this, Dad. No, sir. <laughs> Your love traveled to the corners of the world. You're the consummate help meet. You're the best Christian I know. Love your life. Hey. Hey. This time we're going to ask Dr. Glenn Phipps to come and sing a special for us. Mm -hmm. 